All right, new version here. Let's play this in full. There is no sound. Ooh, but we have an animated TV. I love it. <laughs> it's still so good. <laughs> That's great. I like this. I think the main impression that I have is that it's almost as if everything is a bit in slow motion. I'm going to go crazy and play this at 25% faster. You know, I hate to be the guy that just goes, all right, take everything 25% faster, but there's something that feels that has a bit more energy, and a bit more contrast. And even then I would tweak certain areas. Just to double check. This is 50% faster. I think in sections, I like it. In sections, it's a bit too fast. But it's like that, and then here, it's faster, then like this. I'm going back and forth. You can't really, I'm not sure if you can see it. But basically, generally, I like it 25% faster. And I would say where I would push things. Huh? <gasps> I like this. Huh? Huh? Then, it's almost like you want this. It's a bit poppy. I would have, you know, there's so much in terms of, of shapes appearing where I would have a bottled arm, maybe a foot come in just to give us a bit of a visual softener. So I don't think it's just a lot. I don't think it will hurt you to just ease in. Sometimes you don't want to have like a clean ease into shapes because then like the, the pop is gone, like the speed and the excitement and all that. But I think one frame, you'll be fine. What I would do is I would give this moment maybe two, three more frames. As in, imagine that the rhythm is... That's kind of what, I'm, what I would love to see. Obviously, it's also very subjective. But it has... And the reason also why I'm speeding things up is because everything felt kind of slow and even. And I would love for him to go... See, speeding up and changing direction... That change right there would have a bit, like two or three frames more. And this could be him like this, sliding, then taking the steps. Or sliding and taking a slow step. And then that's the step that pushes him over. And then run, 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 run. Same thing here. A little bit of two, three frames. I'm talking minimal, really. Just two, three frames of a longer slide and then back. Because again, it's a direction change. And then boom. And then that's fine. So it's really just... If I look at this, I would love for this to slow down a bit, this to slow down a bit, which will give in turn this and this automatically more speed by contrast. If that makes sense. Other than that, to be honest, I think that's it. Let me just see. Let me just look at the TV just in case. Oh, I love, oh, I love the antennas. That they're detached. That's great. I think you'd be okay. I think you could you could do a because I'm looking at the TV, then at the guy. And I like that there's still a bit of a hop because he's looking. Because he heard something. And now he sees it. You can have a little bit here. Just a little bit. So it's not completely dead. Then he comes in. I'm looking at the guy. And by the time he's around here, we understand, oh, something's happening. He wants to get in there. And around here-ish, you can easily have a little moves, like tiny moves. I think you have a tiny move. There, like that kind of wobble, just that, could easily happen around here. So it's the action is back on. And then when he looks here, I think you could easily have another big one where the antenna detaches, where it's more in this realm. Something big happened. What happened? I'm moving. Okay. I want to. I don't want to miss it. And again, a little bit here. Comes in a little bit, a little bit. Ba -ba! Big moment to that. You know, it's almost like a reward that he got there just in time to see the next big moment. I might be looking too much into TV acting, <laughs> but that's what I would do. It's cute though. I love. I love that TV and the little. The squishiness in it, I don't know, it's totally super cute. The guy coming in 
again it just it just be a frame afterwards but this we are still in step mode but coming in i do like that as a nice curve lean i love that little dissipation with the shoulder and the head gotta go back to drag on the feet that's great comes in <laughs> i love all that <laughs> he'll drag in the popcorn that's nice and you can take little pieces at the very end and they come off a bit get your bottle i think that's all good sorry i was subtly distracted okay it clearly has the capsule on so it's not going to spill would he stabilize the bottle more so it's not spilling but this is still on so the bottle is not open so he would have to open this later that was literally my train of thought when he got silenced I don't know if that's weird. I just think about things. I, again, love all the little steps. I love the sliding aspect. That's so great. Watch out. Once you spline this out, there might be a moment where this is going to look too IK. Because you have... Even though I see the bowl angle change, there's something about the angle... Man, I got the wobbliest, <laughs> the wobbliest finger drag thing here. See this? It's a long period where that angle of that hand is the same, and especially when you go up here, this starts to look heavy, 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 like an IKEA hand. So you might have to bring it up a bit, and this could also be where the wrist goes up, but then the bowl gets off the palm. So it's you know you have a bit more of a a, a change. In the wrist angle and what the hand is doing but the ball can be slightly off and then plop back down into the palm that pushes this section down again if that makes sense but that's my only concern also here you have a lot of movement happening and i feel like if we would spline this hand or this arm there would be a nice smooth drop while there's all this action and i'm concerned that this is going to feel again very ik-ish where there's a bunch of stuff happening in the body moving up and down and the arm is doing its own thing. So as you continue on, make sure that any type of change and plop and everything still reverberates through the hand. Not that this would be all shaking and you know popcorn would fly around, but just taking away that IK curse. One thing you could do, just to push it. Again, this is all great. This is not me going, oh, where can we push things a little bit? I mean, it's like this. And I would say if you add a couple frames, which I would suggest here, just to have a little bit of a... Just a longer, more stylized, fast, slow. Imagine on that direction change, the gravity is going to also pull his head back a bit. All right? He's like this, head forward. Then it's like, everything goes back. This is the more, you know, this is the part that pushes forward. So this will drag a bit more. So the head would be just a bit further back so that there's more contrast when you're here to bring the head forward. Like he wants to uh, uh, crane the neck forward. I want to get there. This is a bit straight. I wish there could be maybe a push of neck craning forward. And then maybe here, leave it there. because The body catches up. Then you're like that. And then as he sits down, this is what I like. There's a good drag. <laughs> But then watch out, it feels like your body and the head go back together and forward together. Even though it's a little bit of nose up, I would take that lower neck here and go back a bit more, just a bit. And then he goes forward, just a bit more separation, it feels a bit stiff. Not that it has to be super floppy. But it is a bit of an out of control slip and drop. So you can add a little bit there. And again, that way there's a bit more contrast of neck back, neck forward, because he's really into it. And I think that's pretty much it. You could potentially move that bowl a bit more to the right. There's a bit more separation. It's not exactly touching, but it's close to tangent land in terms of the knee in there. And then that knuckle side right where that knee is. So maybe you don't want to go too far, but you might you know, bring towards us so that that elbow stays there. 
of that knuckle line would be here so that you have a nice separation here and then the ball here i'm super picky but i will keep all those shapes clean i like that it breaks through that arm silhouette there and then i would still bring maybe that ear just a bit higher you could also have a slight tilt if you want there's a bit of asymmetry but separate that ear from that shoulder line you know maybe a little tilt that doesn't it doesn't have to be like a sideways puppy tilt of interest but maybe a little bit but that would just bring that ear up just a little bit there i think that's pretty much it the other thing is in terms of polish i don't remember if this rig has squash in the feet as you push off this could be fun i like that the foot goes this way because he is pushing this way to go this way i wonder if there's like a flattening of the because you have you know fairly nice round shapes there Maybe there could be a little bit of a squish in the sole there. Stuff like that as you start splining and polishing things. It's so fun though. I really like it. Let me just see. Is there anything on the chair? Have a look at the chair. Let's see. Oh, nice. There is. And on the pillow. Fantastic. Maybe that pillow could be bouncier and softer. It doesn't have to be. This could absolutely be a hard, harder pillow. Just throwing that out there. Just watch out. You're starting to anticipate that squash in that pillow right there. Bit of an early shape. Just delay that a bit. And we're good to go. One thing you could do. You could put this table here. Or. Which makes maybe less sense. Out there. It's just. We're not using the table. I understand that you want this here. So you can put stuff on there. My concern is that as we're here, you have a bit of the table out here, this right there, right there on that foot, this out there. If there are many, you know, maybe busy shapes, because this is also gray and gray, gray, gray. That would be my only thing. I don't think he gets close enough to the table. So I would probably put the table here. Again, this is very picky. Most people are also right-handed, so maybe that table would be here. I'm left-handed. Mine would be here. And maybe as he goes by, he might even brush into the table. So maybe even the table has a bit of a wobble there, which adds the whole chaos of, I got to get there. It doesn't matter if I bump into something. That could be a thing too. All righty. And that is that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.